Chapter 18, sales, advertising, sales promotion, public relations. This is kind of the, uh, the chapter that you probably thought the whole idea of marketing was about. Let's, uh, let's talk about it. We did cover quite a bit of it in the last chapter, quite honestly. But this goes into the details, the strengths and weaknesses of these various tools, these advertising tools, and uh, when to use them. Much of this, in fact, the vast majority of this is definitional meaning understanding what the words and the, the terms mean in regard to the different products and things like that, or different, uh, excuse me, different types of advertising. So how do you choose? Well, number one, you choose the, the different vehicles as far as uh, the type of media, whether it be online, uh, Twitter, social media, uh, billboards, radio ads, TV ads, and so on, based on the media habits of the target market. So if they watch TV and certain shows, you should advertise there. Now, the different types of advertising, such as institutional, um, these are this speaks to the content or the, the uh, goals of the various types of ads. And I am not going to read all the different definitions to you. I think that's not even productive, you can sure, certainly do that. There we go, developing it. ID your, ta your target audience, target market. What are your objectives? Budget is gonna dictate a lot about as far as the, the variables or the various uh, tools you are able to use. You know, Super Bowl is a, probably one of the, the, whole, the biggest reason to have the Super Bowl is to run ads. Lots of money spent, because so many people watch. I mean, understand advertising rates or prices are in direct relation to the, the viewership. The higher the viewership, the more they can charge for ads, the more money they make. The only reason to have a football game, basketball game, f baseball game, TV show is to sell ads. That is the primary revenue generator because people watch. Types of appeals. What type of appeal should you use? Well, what's the target market? Um, what are the features and benefits of your product? What's going to most communicate to them? And part of the uh, humorous appeals or the kind of entertainment value is to get people to pay attention. There we go. You can make your own judgments in that regard. Celebrities, you can use those to add credibility from time to time. I would suggest being really careful because celebrities do stupid things from time to time and can embarrass a company. Newspapers are... Print media in general is lagging or starting to uh, fade because the viewership isn't there. Different terms as far as reach, gross rating points. Um, this has to do with the the uh, effectiveness of various uh, media. Here we go. This is a really good chart as far as it talks about the medium the, and the various advantages, disadvantages, strengths and weaknesses of these various media in relation to communicating ideas and... Uh, sales types of uh, pitches. There we go. And I'm not going to go through, this is, you know, when you, each of these slides talks about the various things that was on that former slide, so there's really no need to trot through those. The internet has become fantastically uh, uh, commercialized for advertising sake. I mean, that's how Google makes its money is from ads. Facebook ads. This it's a big rolling billboard, and the reason they can is because people go there. Speaking of billboards, that can be a um, high traffic areas can be a great way to mass get the mass communication out there. And I think you know advertising schedules as far as when. Uh, repetition is necessary for people to learn things or to remember things. You can you've memorized ads you heard as a kid, you remember jingles and things like that. I do of uh, McDonald's for sure. <clears throat> um, that can be a great way to figure out how much or where you're going to advertise. So don't, don't discount understanding those things. So, and this is, there are media buyers and media types that really uh, understand. This is kind of a specialty, quite honestly, as far as how often something should run. And a lot of it's dictated, quite honestly, by the budget as well. Might test ads in front of uh, test markets, uh, focus groups. 
Various uh, ad agencies are out there, just like stockbrokers. You can go from full service to in-house agencies where you do it yourself. And what they do, and they do, they can do everything. They, they've really become pretty adept at a lot of different things. But you might want to look for specialists if you need them. There we go. Sales promotion is, uh, these give people reasons to purchase. Coupons, deals, premiums, contests, a reason to purchase. Now understand, you don't want to use these if you're dealing with premium products typically because that can be counterproductive, especially the couponing and constant sales. Um, that can detract from the perceived value of your retail price point. Be very careful using this, but this is probably the most used type of promotional tool, and that is sales promotion. Very powerful. Advantages, disadvantages. Another page to uh, photocopy and keep. And there you go. It talks about them. I think loyalty programs, you probably have buying cards, that you, you know, like a Panera card or something like that. Point of purchase displays are uh, can be kind of cool little advertising tools, and they can really uh, spur attention because it catches your eye. A lot of money spent on those in the development thereof. Product placement. In movies, they'll place products. In TV shows, like I think it's a American Idol, they'll Coca-Cola paid for that. There's no such thing as an accidental exposure of a brand name or a brand of a product on TV. It's paid for. Duck Dynasty, one of my favorite shows, has a deal with uh, Under Armour, and you will see their brand prominently, prominently displayed in a lot of different ways. Trade, trade oriented sales promotion, free goods, uh, financial help for retailers, that's part of it. Co-op advertising where maybe Toro will help pay for a uh, ad. Um, public relations are unpaid ads. Uh, they're out there to help give credence or credibility to whatever uh, whatever it is they're selling. And they get free airtime. That's the thing. That's why they go on talk shows is to promote. That's a sales tip or sales tool. That's what that's what talk shows are. There you go. And you guys hang in there. This is an interesting chapter. Read it carefully. There's lots of good information in there for you. You can use for years to come. Um, hang in there.